Measurement is very, very key. It's one of the most important things you need to know very well as a fashion designer. Now, I'll be using my mannequin as a model. The first measurement you'll be taking first is the shoulder. So this is the first measurement. Now the shoulder, from one shoulder to the other shoulder. So you're going to place your tape this way and you measure. Now, I'm going to turn it back. After taking the shoulder measurement, the next thing you'll be taking is the neck. So this is how you place your neck. You're going to take your client's neck like this and you measure this way. Don't let it be too tight. You have to free it on your neck. Make sure your two hands your two hands is inside, like it's somehow free. Yeah. But then we'll be taking the vertical. Vertical are the straight measurements. Why anything round is the horizontal measurement. So let's take the straight measurements now. Now you place your tape on the shoulder point here. The shoulder point here of your client. That's where you start taking it from. So you're going to place it here. Not here, please. Just here on this side here. You're going to take it, you're going to place it here. Now this is our nipple point. This is your client's nipple. So you can just feel the nipple on their body. So you place it here and you take the nipple. Now for this mannequin, the nipple is 10, is 10 inches. So after taking this nipple, still maintain it here like this. You can place your hand under like this. Then you take it to the under boss. Now when you are taking it to the under boss, don't take, when you are measuring the under boss, don't take straight like this. Can you see what I'm saying? Don't take straight like this. You're going to take it and you push and you put your tape inside like under the bust where that wire where they are wire for the bra is touching place it like that that is how to take the under bust now for the waist measurement i'm going to use myself as an example for the waist measurement this is the part that is inside there's no bone here for them to to turn like this so when they tilt a bit like this you can see that here is going in is where you are going to tie your tape on so you're going to tie the tape there because now we're going to get the front waist length and the back waist length. Let me use this mannequin. So you're going to tie it on your client. You tie your tape on the waist. Don't bother if they are angry. He just has to get their actual waist measurements. It's very important. You take your measurements from this shoulder here. Place it like this under the underboss this way. Then you hold it, then you take the waist measurement. For this mannequin, I have 19.5 for the mannequin. Now, you take the back also. So you tell your clients to turn around. So let's turn the mannequin. Now, because this mannequin is divided into two, I already have that, that line here. I have the line here. So, but the, if for your clients, you are going to put their tape on their actual waist measurement. Now, the line is also here. The line is also here on the mannequin. So you place your tape there and you measure the length. And you measure the length. So what I have for the back of this mannequin is 16.5, but for the front I have 19.5. So you can see that the difference between the front and the back is three inches. Always make sure you know the difference between your, your client's front waist length and their back waist length. Now, before you lose it, you can quickly take your client's waist, round waist measurements. So when you place it like this, you get 27 inches now because you have your tape on their waist it is easy for you to get that part that waist measurement so now i'm going to lose the, the tape off it so let's continue now we've we've gotten this 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 and this now the next thing for you to get is your hip length now most people you know as a tailor or as a fashion designer we normally use 8.5 to 9 inches for your client's hip length I'm going to tell you, some people have their weight, their hip is down. So when you use 9 inches or 8.5, your fabric gets to hang up here. So it doesn't give them that fitting. So you can measure your clients. You can measure when you notice that their hip is down. You can measure them. So you, from the waist measurements, you're going to place your, your tape this way. Now this is the waist here. So you place your, your tape like this and you measure after getting the the hip length let's get the knee length the the you know for some clients they'll tell you ask them where they want where you want their gown to get to now this is the knee length so from if you are making a gown you start from here and you get the knee length now this is on top of the knee 
So for this mannequin, I have 42 inches. But if you are to take it from the waist, let's say you're making skirts, you take it from the waist here to the top of the mannequin knee. Here I have 22 inches. Now you're so also going to take the full length. So you place, you still keep on placing it like this, and you take the full length. Then for trouser also, you can start from the waist here, you measure the trouser length, you measure the knee length, you measure the knee length, you measure the trouser full length, you measure the three quarter, the three quarter is on this side. When you are making three quarter dresses for people or trouser, it is here. It is here, you measure here. If it's a, a three quarter down, you place it here and you measure here like this. We are done with the vertical measurements. Now let's work on the horizontal. So guys, for the first round bust measurement, you're going to take your tape this way and you put it like this. Make sure your tape comes up like this on the client's back. Make sure you drag your tape, let it come up like this. Because by the time you take it like this, sometimes you find that the client's um, round balls becomes too tight. So when you are taking it, always drag your tape like this. Let it come up to the back here like this. So that is how to take your bust measurements. For the other bust, you're going to place it like this. And you also take the, the other bust has to be on this part here. You put one hand inside like this. So you take the under bust measurements. So for the waist, you, you get the waist measurements because we have the line here. That's why I said when you tie that tape, you can just take your waist, your round waist measurements. Okay, so guys, for the hip, you know we got the hip legs. Yes, yeah, so you take the hip measurements. There's what we call the across chest front and the across chest back. Across chest is from here to this point this part here where your hand hole where the where the curve is entering like here that is where the across chest part is so you're going to place your tape this way from here to here and you measure what i have here is 12 inches now for the back measurements for the back measurements you also take your tape here and you measure from here to here now for the back i have 12.5 you realize the front is smaller than the back. Why some clients, their front is wider than the back. Why some, most people, their back is wider than the front. So you need to get this measurement. It's always very important because when you are drafting your hand hole, that is where you need that measurement. After getting the across front chest and the back on, you're going to get your client hand hole. So you place your tape this way and you go round on it. You go round on it. So, when you place it like this, make sure your hand, your, your hand, two fingers or one finger is inside. Don't let it be too tight because it's something that will go around on their body. So, you're going to measure it. So, when you measure it, whatever you have here is what you will use for the armhole. Now, after this is the armhole, then on this part here is the round sleeve. This part here is the round sleeve measurement. So, you normally hear when we say round sleeve, not round sleeve. This is it here. So, you place your tape like this. And you measure if you're making sleeves like for shirts for tops for anything apart from mesh the only thing you use very tight like this is for mesh but when you're making normal sleeve for for your dresses or your tops your, for all your mesh even if you get 10 inches here yeah, on when you're drafting you use 12 inches you're going to add two inches to it you're going to use 12 inches you can take the full length of your client's hand yes you take their full length as they wherever they want the sleeve to get to you're going to measure it now if this is where the sleeve is stopping you're still going to measure that part now i have nine inches here but if i'm drafting it on my actual fabric i'm going to add two inches to that will be 11. so here i'm using 12 here i'm using 11. you measure this part also whatever you have here you add two inches to it any part you are measuring here then when you get to this place this is the wrist this is the wrist you're still going to measure it if you are making normal normal tops like this like for long sleeve you're going to see add two inches the only part you don't add anything is for mesh so guys i hope you understand all these measurements now now let's measure trouser 
I have actually done a tutorial on how to measure trouser, but this is a single tutorial, so let me see how trouser measurements to it. Now, the first thing for trouser is your waist measurements. After getting your waist, your waist measurements, the next thing is the hip. You have to measure your hip measurements. After measuring the hip, now you measure your lap, and this is how to get this is how to get your lap measurement. You take your tape. You can ask your clients to just wipe their leg a little so that you can be able to put your hand inside there. So when you take your tape, you don't measure your lap like this. If you measure it like it will be very tight. That is what me I realize. So you don't measure your lap like this. You take your tape, you can see the way I am slanting it up a little. So you take your tape this way and you put your two finger inside. Now for this, I got 27. Can you see the way I take the tape up? I raise the tape up. I got 27. But if, if you are to measure, you can see, let's see the difference now. If you are to measure from here to here, this is 24. This is 24 inches. So it is very wrong when you are taking your lap measurements this way. It has to be, let's see, come up here like this. Then you measure like this and you get whatever you want to get. So whatever you get here is what you're going to use. Now for the round knee measurements, you're going to place your tape on the actual knee and you measure for here because my two finger is inside now i got 15 inches but if i'm sewing it on the fabric if i'm cutting on the fabric i'm adding two inches to it so the 15 i got here i'm going to be using 17 on my actual fabric so the same thing you do for the wrist um sorry the same thing you do for the ankle so you're going to place your tape here and you measure now you can decide to do a fitted pant if it's a fitted pant whatever you have down there you're going to add two inches to it but if you want a straight pant whatever you have on the knee you can either repeat the same thing for the ankle or you minus just one inch from it if i'm having 15 inches here like i'm citing an example now i'm going to use 14 inches there for straight pants but if you want to use the same measurements down for here and down there it is still fine if you're making booboo -boo dresses like the dresses some of the dresses that doesn't have joint together sleeve like the sleeve is cut together on their fabric this is how you take it so i'm going to turn the, the mannequin this way so now this is the center of the mannequin neck this is the center so you're going to place your tape you're going to place your tape this way on that center and you place it like this and you place it on where they want the sleeve to get to on their body so if they are using here this place that is 21 inches you don't measure like this from the sleeve from this place you don't measure like this for the sleeve so for for dresses that are joined together with the sleeve you have to place it on the back of their neck this way the middle point here then you, you, you measure the length of the sleeve so guys i believe i've touched every part of this um of this tutorial so we are done with this tutorial guys if you enjoyed this video kindly like this video thank you very much for watching this um i'll see you all in my next video bye